Planning I.O. for an application can be a challenging task, especially with tons of components to choose from. Turk makes the process easy with station reports by Pactor. We are going to use Pactor offline to plan and create a BL67 station report. Before we begin, please make sure to download Turk Software Manager at www.turk.com forward slash TSM. To view a tutorial for installing TSM, click on this link. With Turk Software Manager downloaded, open TSM and click the plus symbol next to Fieldbus Technology and click the selection boxes for FDT Frame Application Packware and DTM for Fieldbus I.O. systems. Then click the download button. With these items downloaded, open Pactware. Click Project and then click Turk IO Assistant Quick Start. In the pop-up window, you'll notice that Configure System Manually is automatically selected. Click Next. Our application example requires IP67 rated IO with four PNP inputs, four 0.5 amp PNP digital outputs, two 4 to 20 milliamp analog inputs, and an RS-232 connection to be provided to their Allen Bradley Compact Logics via Ethernet IP. We'll start by selecting the Fieldbus interface and protection class. Click Finish to move on. Pactor will show all Turk Ethernet IP IP67 devices that can be connected to it. For this project, we will select the multi-protocol BL67. Highlight it and click OK. In the pop-up window, click OK. On this screen, we will select the I.O. required for the application. First, click on the type column to sort the I.O. Our application scenario requires four PNP digital inputs, so click on the plus sign on the row for the BL67 4DIP. The last column will turn red, indicating that a base module has not been selected yet. Double click on the red area and a drop down list of possible bases will be presented. The last part of the part number will tell us the quantity and type of connectors, such as 4M12 and many more. The application scenario did not specify this, so we'll choose a 4M12 base. Remembering that the application required four 0.5 amp PNP digital outputs, two 4 to 20 milliamp analog inputs, and an RS-232 connection, we will now select the necessary parts. Choose any base for the connections. Click OK to have the wizard build the node. You'll notice that regardless of which order the I.O. was chosen, it was reordered when the node was built to optimize the station. To generate a station report for the BL67 station, right-click on the BL67GW-EN in the project pane on the left, and then select Additional Functions and Station Report. Here, we can choose the different parts for the station report to generate. Put a check next to all chapters and click OK. From here, we can view all the different sections of our documentation that was automatically generated. You can also export this station report to a PDF by clicking the icon above the report and choosing a file name and location for the newly created PDF. The station report will contain valuable information including the station overview, image, dimensions, parameters, article list, and an Ethernet IP report. Pactware makes your BL67 IO station planning quick and easy. Thanks for watching.